Hi, in this video we want to solve all 25 problems. One, if you can see these problems, up to last one, 25 of uh, JMC, UKMT Junior Mathematical Challenge 2022. And uh, here you have some information year 8 or below, S2 or below, and uh, year 9 or below in different countries. And the rules are here, the time is 60 minutes and calculators, squared paper and some other things are forbidden and you can read these things. So let's start. The problems are easy. We want to solve all these 25 problems and also I will release Senior Mathematical Challenge, Intermediate Mathematical Challenge, and I will release a lot of problems from BMO Round 1, BMO Round 2, IMO, USAMO, for America. And you can use them to improve your problem solving. Okay, let's start from first problem. It says, which of these has the greatest value? The first one is 20 plus 22, which is 42. For each problem, first pause the video, try to do by yourself, and then see the rest. 204, this one 404, this one 2 times 0 times 2 times 2 0, and this times 440, 4, 4, 4, and as you can see, E is the greatest one. Okay, let's solve problem number 2. The number 5012 is reflected in the mirror line shown here onto which number is it reflected okay so if we want to draw this board it will be like this like this like this this one this one for this the next one is one so it's five the next one is zero if you draw and the last one here if you draw it will be this okay so it will be 501, uh, 5,102, 5,000. So the answer is C. I'm sorry, uh, it is 5,102. Okay, this, the graph is okay. Here is zero, so the answer is 5,102. Let's solve three. And problem number three says, think any number. Okay, for example, we think about A. Then it says mm, add 5, so it will be a plus 5. Then multiply by 2, so it will be 2a plus 10. Add 10, 2a plus 20. Divide by 2, it will be a plus 10. Subtract your original number, so our original number was a. If we subtract a, it will be 10. And then add 3, so it will be 13. What is the resulting number? 13. The answer is b. Okay, let's solve problem number four. 0 0.6 plus 2 over 5. 2 over 5, we multiply the numerator and denominator both of them by 2. It will be 4 over 10. So it will be 0 0.6. 4 over 10 is 0 0.4. And it will be 1. So the answer is D. Now let's solve problem number 5. How many of the following take integer values so this one is one it's okay this one is 11 over 2 it's bad because 11 is odd last digit is one it is not multiple of two if a number is multiple of two last digit it should be even this one 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 over three some of digits when you divide by three you should pay attention one 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 sum of digit is multiple of three it's okay and if you divide it will be three thirty seven so this one okay this one will be 1, 1, 1, 1 divided by 1, 1, 1, 1, 4. It's not multiple of 4. Last two digits is important when you want to divide by 4. 11 is not multiple of 4. Numerator is odd number. Denominator is even. The last one is 1, 1, 5, 1s divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. So last digit should be 0 or 5 if it is multiple of 5. And we will see last digit is 1. It's not possible. So only the first one and third one are integers. And the answer will be C, because we have only two numbers that are integers. 
Okay, let's solve problem number six. The diagram shows the square R, S, T, U and two equilateral triangles. P, U, T, and this one. Q, R, U, this one. What is the size of angle of Q, P, U, this one? Okay, so because it is a square, the problem says. So this angle equal, this side equal, this side equal, this side. And because there are two equilateral triangles, so this one equal, this one equal, this one equal, this one. And now we know it is 90 because it's square. Also in rectangle we have 90. This part is 60. This part is 60. So if you want to find this angle, it will be 360 because the whole part is 360 minus 90. This one minus 260. Minus 60 minus 60. So it will be 3. 60 minus 60 is 300, minus 90 minus 60 is minus 150, so it will be 150. So when it is 150, now we know PUQ, it is isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal, so these two angles are equal. So we should say 180 minus 150 will be left for these two angles, they are equal, so we divide by 2. It is 30 over 2, 15. So the answer is B, 15. Okay, let's solve next one. Problem number seven, kiwi fruit contain roughly two and a half times as much vitamin C as the same weight of oranges. What weight of kiwi fruit contains approximately the same amount of vitamin C as one kilogram of oranges? Okay, so if we consider the vitamin in kiwi in, for example, K, it is equal to two times half, uh, two and a half times, two and a half times as uh, much vitamin C as the same weight of oranges. Okay, so times O. What weight of kiwi um, fruit contains approximately the same amount of vitamin C as one kilogram? So if we consider one kilogram, it will be, suppose the answer, the thing we have is, for example, the weight we have is W. We know that, uh, for example, it is for kiwi. The vitamin here uh, we should have is 2.5, uh, sorry, here, let me correct this one. The vitamin, if we consider the vitamin, it is 2.5 times, for example, a weight. Suppose it is weight of fruit kiwi and here the weight of orange. So if we consider this one, let's focus on this equation. It says uh, 2.5 times K equal to one kilogram of oranges, the vitamin in one kilogram. So K equal to one over 2.5. So it is 10 over 25 and it will be what it is in kilogram and it will be zero let's let's multiply by we can say this part as 1 over 10 times 125 because 100 over 10 is 10 so it will be 1 over 10 times 4 and it will be 4 over 10 0.4 kilogram but the, the the choices are in grams so k equal to 0 0.4 times 100 1000 grams which will be 400 grams and the answer is d okay let's solve problem number eight today is thursday what day will it be in 100 days time so look when you consider today is thursday let's copy and paste it here Today is Thursday, okay? Uh, in 100 days we want to consider, so day zero, zero day after today is Thursday, okay? If you add seven, seventh day again is Thursday, 14 is again Thursday. You can divide 100 by seven and you will see, you consider seven, 
seven days after today is also Thursday. Multiples of seven. The last multiple of seven is ninety-eight. How we can understand it? Because if you divide one hundred by seven, it will be one uh, times seven here. Thirty. Four times seven. It will be twenty-eight. The remainder is two. One hundred. So ninety-eight is Thursday. Ninety-nine. One hundred. So. After Thursday, we have Friday, and after Friday, we have Saturday. So the answer is, if instead of 100, we have 1,000 or something else, you should divide and only find the remainder. For example, the remainder is two, two days after Thursday, which will be Friday, Saturday, and the answer is Saturday. The idea is this. Okay, it was problem eight. Now let's read problem nine. How many squares? Of any size can be seen in the diagram. Here, look, case, it is casework problem. And we have casework problem in all exam, also in BMO1, BMO2, especially most of the time BMO1 or AMC for America, AME. I released the video of AMC, AME for 2023 for AME and 2022 for AMC last year's. And before that, also, I mm, released a video preparation. I told that. Considering cases, casework is so much important uh, in all the exams. Also, Stanford math tournament, Harvard MIT math tournament, it's used. So, let's solve problem number nine. Okay, so here we should start from small size. So, let's consider it is one. The length here is one. If you want to say one square, this one square, this it is easy problem. Maybe you can reach correct answer. But if you had many squares, then in that case, it was hard. So, let's write the length. 333 three, three. here 333 three, three. and uh, I want to length I, I divide the problem length of side in uh, this case work problem you should find one property and divide the problem split up the problem into different cases here for example you can also consider another thing but one typical thing is to consider length of side if it is one how many squares do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or 3 by 3. We have 9 squares. If the length is 2, we have 1 here, 2 here, 3 here, 4 here. If the length is 3, then we have 1 here, 2 here, 3. 3 times 3 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 here. If the length is 4, we don't have. After 3, the next length, side length is 6. One, two, three, four, and the last part. If the side length is nine, we have one. If we add these digits, nine plus one, ten, fourteen plus nine, twenty-three, plus four, twenty-seven. So some of these numbers equal to twenty-seven, and the answer is twenty-seven. Okay, so like this, we call these types of problem casework problems. Okay, if you want to solve, we have also so much hard casework problems. But if you learn the idea, you can solve all of them. If you want to learn how to how to approach these types of problem, how to work on these types of problem, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, let's solve problem ten. Half a quarter of an eighth of a number is equal to this. Okay, so half. A quarter one over four uh, of an eight one over eight of a number a equal to this number one over two plus one over four plus one over eight. If we use common denominator here eight, it will be four plus two six plus one seven. And then, uh, if I multiply both sides by two times four times eight, these denominators will be cancelled, right side will be 7 over 8, times 2, times 4, times 8, 8 and 8 will be cancelled, so 2 times 4 is 8, 7 times 8 will be 56, so the answer is 56, problem number 11, 9 of the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then we have 10 numbers, so 9 of them, are to be put in two groups so that the sum of the numbers in each group is multiple of four. What is the largest number that could be left out? So here let's consider some of these numbers one plus two plus three 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you add, it has a formula. If you don't know, you can add all of them. But if you know the formula, we have around uh, four or five important formulas you should memorize. One of them is this. Let me write one more. One squared, two squared. We don't need the second one, but I write because you should also memorize in many problems. It's useful. N times n plus one times two n plus one over six. And there are also some three more identities you should memorize so much useful if you want to learn them feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description please. okay now if you use this formula 1 to 10 is 10 times 10 plus 1 which is 11 over 2 10 over 2 is 5 it will be 55 okay now it says remove a number then we have nine numbers because it says nine of them so like nine of them and then divide to two groups each group should be multiple of four so if I, for example, remove 10, so 55 minus 10, the sum of the odd numbers that are left is 45. If you want to consider two groups, for example, this one is multiple of 4, some of them, this one multiple of 4, 4q. So some of the 9 numbers that are left will be 4k plus 4q. 9 numbers that are left is 45. Is it possible? Because 4 times k plus q is 45. Left side is multiple of 4. Right side is even number. The remainder of right side when divided by 4 is 1. So contradiction. Now we should see, okay, if we subtract 9 from here, it will be 46. Why? Because look, when we remove a number, the number that is left, some of the numbers, should be multiple of 4. 55 when divided by 4 is what? Is 1. 4, 15, 3 times 4, 12, 3. So the remainder is 3. So we should find the largest number that the remainder. It is necessary condition, not sufficient. 10 when divided by 4 is 2. 9 when divided by 4 is 1. It is 0, 7. So the largest number that we can remove is 7. Okay, if we remove 7, the rest of the numbers, sum, sum of all numbers is 55 minus. 7 will be what will be 48. Okay, and it's multiple of 4. Now it says uh, the numbers in each group shouldn't be equal. It says only multiple of 4. So now you say what numbers are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. So one, one group you can consider, for example, 4. And the other, it's multiple of 4, and you place the others here. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Some of these numbers, if you calculate, it is 1 to 10, 55. We don't have 4 minus 4. We don't have 7. So 55 minus 4 is 51. Minus 7 is 44, so it is also multiple 4, and we will see 7 is okay. So the answer is E. It was related to divisibility. In divisibility, you should, if you learn this sign, modulo, and this sign divisibility, you can solve all problems. If you want to learn these two tools that are so much useful, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, let's start problem number 12. When my pot of paint is half full, it weighs 5.8 kilogram. And when my pot of paint is one quarter full, it weighs 3.1 kilogram. What is the weight of the full pot? Okay, so we have a pot, something like this. And Okay, at first it says when my pot of paint is half full, means for example up to here, it weighs with the pot 5.8. Now let's paste another pot. When my pot is of paint is one quarter, half of this part, it weighs. 3.1 kilogram 
and then it's what is the weight of the full fault. It is what. Now, if we subtract these two cases, then uh, the pot weight of pot will be cancelled. Half minus uh, one quarter. Suppose this one, it will be one quarter of the paint equal to y1 over 4 because 1 half minus 1 over 4 of paint. For example, P, we can call this one 4. 2P minus PP. P over 4 equal to the difference. 5.8 minus 3.1 is 7. It's 2. So if we multiply by, so P will be, we should multiply by 4. 4 times 7, 28. We have 2. 4 times 2, 8. Plus 2, 10. 10.8 kilogram. And now that we found this, here it will be p plus the weight of the pot okay and uh, so p is what 10.8 uh, but the weight of pot here it is for paint is what so now that we found the paint is 10.8 kilograms so it is half of that 10.8 over 2 is what 5.4 so if you subtract 5.8 minus 5.4, the weight of pot will be 0 0.4. So this part will be 0 0.4, and this one will be 0 0.4, and the weight will be 10.8 plus 0 0.4 will be 11.2 kilogram, and the right choice is B. Okay. So these types of problems we should subtract. Also, we could solve with, for example, only writing variables. And uh, let me, it's solution number one. Solution number two, let me tell you. For example, suppose weight of paint, because it has A, we call it A. Paint of hot, we call this one, for example. O, so for first one, it says what? Now I want to write the equation. Here you say the weight of hot O plus half of paint is a over 2 equal to 5.8 this one paint over 4 plus pot o plus a over 4 equal to 3.1 and it wants what at the end weight of pot o plus a is what here we have two equations two variable if we subtract a over 2 minus a over 4 will be 5 0.8 minus 3.1. If you use common denominator, it will be 2a minus a, a over 4 equal to 2.7, and a equal to 4 times 7, 8. We have 2, uh, 28, 4 times 2, 8 plus 2, 10, 10.8. If a is 10.8, here, for example, if you replace o plus 10.8 over 2, which will be 5.4 equal to 5.8. And if you subtract, O will be 0 0.4, and A is 10.8, and the answer will be the same, okay? With only using two equations, two variables. Okay, it was problem number 12. Let's solve problem number 13. It says the diagram shows five squares whose side length in centimeters are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 here, 2 here, 3, 4, 5. What percentage of the area of the outer square is shaded? Because it says what percentage of outer circle, the area of outer circle is what? 5 times 5, because the length is 5. Uh, the area of shaded region, you should calculate. Shaded region, we have two parts. This part, area 1. Area 1 is what? And this part, we call this one area 2. Area 1, it is 4 by 4 minus 3 by 3. So A1 is 4 squared minus 3 squared, which will be 16 minus 9, which is 7. Area 2, the side length here is 2, the side length here is 1. It will be 2 squared minus 1 squared, is 4 minus 1, 3. A1 plus A2 is 10, so it will be 10 over 
25 because we write in percent. You can say if you multiply by 4, it will be 40 over 100. And because we want to write it in percent, it will be 40 percent. The reason you say in percent, because when we want to write in percent, you should say times, let me show you, times 100 percent. When you multiply uh, by 100, it will be percent. The rule is this. So it will be 40 percent and the answer is D. Okay, it was related to area, but simple problem. We can solve hard problems related to area so much famous in AMC. If you want to solve those problems, as I said before, feel free to send a message my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, let's solve next problem. A group of children stand evenly spaced around a circular ring and are numbered consecutively. One, two, three, and so on. Number 13 is directly opposite number 35. How many children are there in the ring? Now for this part, I want to use small examples. For example, when we have opposite, look, when we have 1, 2, 3, we don't have opposite. So we can understand we should have even number of students. And as you can see, all the choices are even and we can't reject any choice. So for example, when we have 4 students, 1 is opposite to 3. 2 is opposite to 4. We want to find the relationship. Let's consider 6. It's considering a small example. So much useful in especially hard problems like, uh, let me tell you, like for example, BMO2, IMO, and also BMO1, all years, AMC, AME. It's so much famous. Here it is 1 opposite to 4, 2 opposite to 5, 3 opposite to 6. So as you can see, 1 to 4. When you want to go 1 to 4, you add by 3. When you go two from 2 to 5, you add 3. When you go 3 to 6, you add 3. When you go from 1 to 3, you add 2. When you go from 2 to 4, you add 2. So, 2 is what? Half of 4. So, suppose we have 2K students and a student, which is 2K. So each one 13, for example, adds by k because look here, for example, n is 4k is 2. Here n is 6k is 3. So when you add by k, 13 plus k, it will be 35. So we conclude 13 plus k is 35. So k is 35 minus 13. And it will be 22. Okay, so k is 22. But n, the number of students, is 2k. So 2 times 22, it will be 44. So the answer is 44, and the choice is b. So considering a small example, so much useful. We have lots of problems that can be solved with small examples. If you want to, if we can find the idea. If you want to learn them, again, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, let's solve problem 15. What is the value of this? So let's calculate. I prefer to write it as fractions. So uh, at first we should calculate inside bracket. So 8 over 10, this part. 8 over 10, we can write it as 8 over 10 in fraction. And as you can see, choices are in fractions. If we divide both numerator and denominator by 2, it will be 4 over 5. So it will be 4 over 5. Now 6 divided by 4 over 5. I look, the rule is 6 times reciprocal of the second part. It will be this. If you divide by 2, it will be 2. It will be 3. So it will be 15 over 2. So this part is 15 over 2. Now, 4 divided by this. 4 divided by 15 over 2. It will be 4 times reciprocal of second fraction. 2 over 15, it will be 8 over 15. Okay. Now 2 divided by this. So it will be 2 times 15 over 8. And if you divide, it will be 15 over 4. Okay, so the answer is E. The only thing you should know if you have AB divided by it, B, D, A over B divided by C over D, you should write that A over B times D over C reciprocal of second fraction, and you can cancel here. 
It was problem 15. Now let's work on problem 16. The diagram shows a seven sided polygon PQRSTUV. PQRSTUV. How many sides are there? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It is formed from two equilateral triangles PQW and STU of side length 5 cm and 8 cm respectively. It is 5, the side length is 8. The two triangles overlap in an equilateral triangle of side length 2. So this part also it says side length here we have 2. And the problem says what is the perimeter of PQRSTU with this part. So let's solve. Okay. So this length is 5. It is okay. This length, because it is 2, 5 minus 2, this part is 3. This side we don't know, but we know it is 2. This side is 8. This side we don't know, but we know some of these two sides. Look, UV, let me show in blue. Look, this side plus this side. We know that the sum is 8 minus 2, and we want to know some of them. So if I draw this polygon, so it will be 5, this part, plus 3, this part, plus 8, plus 8 here, and this side is 5 minus 2, 3, plus 3, this side, so from 7 sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 of them we written. These two lengths are left. Some of them is 8 minus 2, which is 6. Now, let's add. It's 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 8, 16. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 plus 3, plus 6. 24 plus 6, 30. 33. 33 centimeter. So, the answer is C. Okay, it is 16. Now let's all. Rita and Beatrix play a game in which each player starts with 10 counters. In each round of the game, one player wins and is given 3 counters, and her opponent has 1 counter removed. At the end of the game, Amrita and Beatrix have 40 counters and 16 counters respectively. How many round how many rounds of the game did Armitra win? Okay, so in each round one of them uh, here it says is given three counters and the other one remove one. So the result in general will be 3 minus 1, 2. So the number of counters in each round added by 2. At first says each player starts with 10 counters. So both of them have 20 counters. And at the end, in each step, in each round, the number of counters in all added by 2, 22, and so on. And at the end, we reach 40 plus 16, 56 counters. So how many rounds are there? We should subtract 56 minus 20 is 36 divided by 2, 18. But it will be number of rounds of games. But the problem was what? How many rounds of the game did Armita, did Amrita win? So let's calculate. Okay, so let's write again this. We said we had 18 games. Why? Because at first we have 10 plus 10. 20 counters in all in next step in one round after first round we have 22 after second round we have 24 and at the end we have 40 plus 16 which will be 56 at first i want to see how many rounds are there you said 56 minus 20 over 2 it will be 36 over 2 we had 18 games now that we had 18 games uh, suppose in W of them, Amrita win. In L of them, Amrita lose. So, Amrita had 10. In each uh, round that she wins, she have 3 more. So, plus 3 W. In each round that she lose, uh, 
she subtract one. So if you have L rounds that she lose, it will be minus L equal to what? Equal to Amrita 40. And we know L plus W, the number of rounds, equal to 18. So we have two equations, two variables. Uh, because we want how many of the games did Amrita win, we want W. So I write L in terms of W, L equal to 18 minus W, and I replace here. So 10 plus 3 W minus L minus 18 minus W equal to 40. So if we calculate these parts, 10, 3 W minus minus W will be 4 W. 10 minus 18 will be minus 8 equal to 40. Then 4W, equal, if you add by 8 both sides, if you add 8 both sides, it will be 48. If you divide by 4, it will be 12. So the answer is 12, which is choice C. Okay. So in these types of problem, we have several problems like this. You should calculate number of games. You should calculate in general what happens. We had similar problem in Amy 2023. It's for USA, one of the most prestigious national exams. But that problem is so much harder. I also released a video and I solved that problem. If you want to know that problem and also other types of these types of problems, uh, as I said before, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay. Let's solve next problem, problem number 18. The diagram shows a parallelogram. What is the value of y? Here, in these types of problems, let me paste it in a new page. This one, this one. Okay. So, in a parallelogram, we know that some of these two sides equal to 180y because this one if I continue this, if I extend this, this is 2x minus 30. So this angle also is 2x minus 30. So if you add these two things, 2x minus 30 plus 3x minus 40 equal to 180. Okay. 2x plus 3x, 5x minus 30 minus 40 minus 70 equal to 180. So if you add 70 to both sides, it will be 250. And if you divide by 5, x equal to 50. And because x equal to 50, so this angle, let me let me tell you something. If you also extend this one, we know always this angle equal to this angle. The reason is what? The reason is this is equal to this because these two things are parallel 3x minus 40. And uh, if you want to write these angles, 2x minus 30 equal to 100 minus 30, which is 70. Okay. So this angle is 70. This angle also is 70. This angle plus 170 is 180, so it is 110. So this part is also 110. So this part is also 70. And as you can see, these two opposite angles are equal. So the problem wants y. 4y minus 50 equal to 70 so if you add 50 to both sides it will be 120 and then you can conclude if you divide by 4 y equal to 30 and the answer is e okay if you want to know the rules in parallelogram rhombus trapezoid cyclic quadrilateral in next level which is so much useful in bmo1 and also bmo2 and next rounds Feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments because there are 40 50 important formulas in geometry. You should memorize them. Problem number 19. At the start of the day, I had three times as many apples as purse. Okay, so let's paste it in a new page. Okay, here. So it says I had three times as many apples as per. So for example, here we had three K apples as K first because it is three times that. By the end of the day, after eating five apples, so it will be three K minus five, but no purse. Now at the end of the day, the number of apples will be three K and the number of purse will be K. It says I had twice as many purse, so K 
is as apples case 2 times 3k minus 5 and then it says how many pieces of fruit did I have at the start of the day at the start of the day 3k plus k which is 4k so we should find k and multiply it by 4 to reach the answer here if we multiply by 2 it's 6k minus 10 if we take negative 10 to left hand side k to right hand side then left hand side will be 10 right hand side will be 6k minus k 5k and if we divide both sides by 5 k will be 2 and then if we multiply by 4 4 times 2 will be 8 so the answer will be b problem number 90 now let's solve the rest problem 20 drink okay during a particularly troublesome lesson, the following conversation occurs. Pam, I always tell the truth. Quentin, Pam is lying. Roger, both Pam and Quentin are lying. Susan, everyone is lying. Terry, everyone is telling the truth. How many people are telling the truth? So, uh, if we consider, for example, Terry tells the truth. And all of them are liar. All of them tells ah uh, then all of them tell the truth. Okay, because if if Terry tells the truth, all of them tells the truth. But then we have a contradiction because Susan says everyone is lying. So we consider Terry is lying. Okay. Now Susan says everyone is lying. If she tells the truth. So all others should be lying. And then here Roger says both Pam and Quentin are lying. Then Roger says tells the truth and it's contradiction because uh, she should lie. Okay. Now let me consider. So Susan is not uh, Susan is lying. Okay, because we said if she tells the truth then all others are lying and then we have contradiction between Roger, Pam and Quentin because Roger is telling the truth, okay? But she's liar. Now Susan is also liar. Now let's consider the rest. Now let's consider Roger. If Roger tells the truth, let's write the rest with Red, the blues are okay. We work on reds. If Roger tells the truth, these two are liar. But uh, Quentin says Pam is lying. So she tells the truth. And we reach contradiction because she's liar. He or she. So Roger is also liar. Let me write with blue. And because... Roger is liar, one of them, one of Pam and Quentin tells the truth, the other lies. If Quentin be liar, we reach a contradiction. Why? Because, uh, he, he says Pam is lying. Okay, so let's consider Pam and Quentin. Here, because um, both of them cannot tell the truth. Okay, true, true. Because he says Pam is lying. Both, both of them are not liar. Why? Because then... Quentin says Pam is lying, he tells the truth, okay? And that's a contradiction because he's a liar, he or she. So one of them is liar, one of them is truth teller. So the problem says how many are telling the truth. So we conclude only one from Pam and Quentin, Quentin tells the truth, so the answer is B, and others are liar. And both cases, I think it's possible. Look, if he is liar, truth teller, it satisfies because Pam is lying. He says the truth. I always tell the truth. He's liar. He's telling the. Uh, he's lying. And if he consider truth teller and liar, then Pam is lying. He tells. He's lying because Pam is truth teller and I always tell the truth. So both cases are possible. We have two cases, but in both cases, we have only one person that is telling the truth. Okay, so the answer is B. Let's solve 21. In these types of problems, you should consider person by person. We have lots of other problems. The topic is logic that are harder than this. If you want to learn them, 
As I said before, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Problem 21. Two lists of numbers are as shown below list S3581314. List T2561013. And Jenny decided she would move one number from list S to list T and one number from list T to list S. So that the sum of the numbers in the new list S is equal to the sum of numbers in the new list T. In how many ways could she do this? So at first let's consider initial sum in each list. 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, 16 plus 11, 27, 30, 40, 54. And if we consider this part, 2, 5, 7, 13, 23, 25, 35, 45, 48. The difference is what? 6. Okay, so. When you move, for example, A here, suppose we select A, we move A to this part, and we select B from this C and move it here. Then, what happens to 54? 54 will be subtracted by A and add by B, and 48 will be will subtracted by B and added by A, and then 54 minus 48 will be 6. If we take negative A to right side, it will be 2A, B to left side, right side, negative 2B, and then A minus B is 3. So the number that we select here and here, A and B, the subtraction should be 3. So if we select 3 here, we should have 0 here, but we don't have 0 here, so 3 is not possible to select as A. If we select 5, 5, 2 is good, so 1 case here. 8, 8 minus 3, 5, 1 case here, 8 and 5. 11 minus 8, we don't have 8 here. 13 minus 10, 1 case here. 14 minus 11 is 3. So we have only three cases for A, B. If I want to write A is 5, B is 2, A is 8, B is 5, A is 13, B is 10. Okay. So we have three cases and the answer is C. Let's consider problem 22, a triangular pyramid with vertices T, U, V, and Q. T u v and q okay is removed from the solid cube shown so if i want to show the pyramid let me minimize it it will be this figure okay and it says how many edges does the remaining solid have Okay, at first a cube, if you count, we have four edges on top, four edges below, and four edges on side. So we have 12 edges. And then uh, when you remove this, you cancel this one, this one, this one. You cancel three. You remove three edges, but you add three other edges like this. Plus three. So the answer will be 12, and the answer is E. Okay. It is needed a little three-dimension imagination if you want to work on 3D problems. We have, for example, double Pythagorean theorem, usefully AMC, AME, BMO. If you want to learn those ideas in 3D, as I said before, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, let's solve 23. The price of a train ticket increased by 5% and then decreased by 20%. A special offer. It was then... For four pounds less expensive than its original price. What was the original price of the ticket? So, uh, suppose original price of the ticket is P. When you increase by 5%, it will be 1 plus 5%. When you decrease by 20%, you will multiply by 1 minus 20%. It was then four less expensive then it's original price. So it will be original price minus 4. Now original price is what? We want P. So P times 10.5 times 80 equal to P minus 4. 
Okay, let's calculate the rest in a new page. Here we write in fractions, we say it's P times 105 over 100 times, because we have two numbers, two decimal digits after the decimal point, we divide by 100. The next one is 8 over 10 equal to P minus 4. Then if you divide by 2 here, it will be 5, it will be 4. If you divide by 4, it will be 25. If you divide by 5, it will be 2, 1. Okay, so 21p over 25 equal to p minus 4. Then in next step, we multiply both sides by 25. It will be 21p equal to 25p minus 100. We take these to right hand side, these to left hand side, so we can conclude. Negative 100 will be 125p minus 21p is 4p. If we divide both sides by 4, 25 equal to p. So the answer is 25, which is d. Okay, it was problem 23. Let's solve 24. Okay, problem 24. Florist flower shop contains fewer than 150 flowers. All the flowers are purple, yellow, red, or white. The ratio of purple flowers to yellow flowers is 1 to 2. The ratio of yellow flowers to red flowers is 3 over 4. And the ratio of red flowers to white flowers is 5 to 6. How many flowers are there in Lori's shop. Okay, let's consider P, Y, R, W for these things and then ratio of purple flowers to yellow flowers. So P over yellow. Pay attention here, all letters are different. It's okay. For example, if we had two things same that had same first letter, we should change them to not have careless mistake. So it is 1 over 2. Yellow to red y over r is 3 over 4. The ratio of red flowers to white flowers, red to w, is 5 over 6. How many flowers are there in florist shop? We want what p plus y plus r plus w is what? Now, here we can say, I can write all of these things in terms of y. y, if we cross multiply, 2p cross multiply means this times this equal this times this. 2p equal to y. I write all things in terms of, uh, let, let's also cross multiply this one. First, 4y equal to 3r. And if we multiply, cross multiply this one, 6r equal to 5w. So, if we want to consider the relationship y is 2p, if we want the relationship between r and p, so here, 8p equal to 4y, if we multiply by 4. 4y equal to 3r. Okay, so if we write all things in terms of p, y equal to 2p. In these types of problems, we should use replacement. y equal to 2p, I want to write all things in terms of p. And then here, r is 8p over 3. Also, you could say here, y is 2p, 8p over 3. And this one, we know r is 8p over 3, so 6 times 8p over 3 equal to 5w. If we cancel 3 here, 2, 16p equal to 5w, so w equal to 16p over 5. Over five. Now the problem was what sum of all these things. And here we know because here p is multiple of three, p is or multiple of five, so we conclude that p is multiple of three and five, so p is multiple of fifteen. So I can write p is equal to fifteen, for example, x. So if we write all of them in terms of x, it will be thirty x two times fifteen x, fifteen x over three five, so it will be eight fifteen x over three. It will be five. 8 times 5, 40x. Next one, 16 times 15x over 5. If we divide it with 3, 
um, it will be 48x. Now, in next step, we want what? We want p plus y plus r plus w. p is 15x, y is 30x, r is 40x, w is 48x, and if you add 15 plus 30, 45. 45 plus 40, 85. 125, 133x. And because the problem says x can be 0 or 1 or 2, the problem says we have some. If it is 0, then all of them will be 0, 0 over 0. The ratio is not 1 over 2. So x can only be 1. Why? Because if x be 2, then it will be 2 times this, 266. But we have fewer than 150 flowers. So x is 1. And the answer is 133 flowers. Okay, it was ratio. Sometimes we have three ratios. And there are some rules in ratios you should memorize. For example, if a over b equal to c over d, then a plus b over b is what? Look, you should do the same thing to other fraction. Numerator plus denominators. Here, numerator plus denominator is c plus d over d. Or, for example, if you write a plus b over b minus a, you should write the same thing. c plus d over denominator minus numerator d minus c. And another important thing is this. a1 over b1 equal to a2 over b2 equal to ak over bk. If you have this, then we can say they are equal to... And you should prove it to ak. And this fractions the rules between the no fractions are useful also in geometry if you want to learn other rules other important things application in geometry as i said before feel free to send a message on my whatsapp number in the description and comments okay it was 24 now let's solve last problem in the number pyramid shown each cell above the bottom row contains the sum of the numbers in the two cells immediately below it. So 61 is this plus this. 16 is this plus this. And then it says the sum of the numbers in the bottom row is 17. What is the central number of the bottom row? Okay, here let's consider, for example, it is A, it is B, it is C, it is D, it is E. Sum of them, A, we one thing that we know A plus B plus C plus D plus E equal to 17. We want to solve with logic way. So this one is a plus b, this one is b plus c, b plus c, c plus d. Okay? So here it's b plus c, here it is c plus d. And then sum of them is 16. So b plus c plus c plus d is 16. Now we should find these two things such that because we know sum of them 61. So here we know it is a plus b here we know it is d plus e, okay? And then if we calculate this, it is a plus 2b, because it is a plus b plus b plus c, a plus 2b plus c. Uh, if we consider this part, it is c plus 2d plus e. And now this part is 16 plus this, this one is 16 plus this. So here is 16 plus c plus 2d plus e. This part is 16 plus a plus 2b plus c. And some of these two numbers equal 61. So 16 plus 16, 31, 32. Plus a here we have plus 2b. C plus c, 2c. Plus 2d plus e. equal to 61 this and the problem says c is what now here if you can see we have b plus c plus d here b plus c plus d here okay and one c is left and here again we have b plus c plus d so if you consider b plus c plus d for some as a new variable is x and a plus e as y here so the first one is what is x, b plus c plus d, plus a plus e, this part. x plus y is 17. And from this part, 
we know. Let's subtract both sides. 32 from both sides. 61 minus 32 is 11 minus 2, 9. 5 minus 3, 2, 29. Okay, and then a plus e is y. 2b, 2c, 2d is 2x. Then we can find two equations, two variables, x and y. If we subtract, 2x minus x is x. y minus y will be cancelled. 29 minus 70 is 3 plus 9, 12. So x is 12. And then y here is 5. Okay. Now if you use second equation, x is what, what b plus c plus d. b plus c plus d, which was x, was 12. 12 plus c is 16. And if we subtract 12 from both sides, c equal to 4. So the answer is 4. Here, look, again, we've used variables. Sometimes you need to use paths. Uh, there are three important ideas in paths. Numbering, the second one, levels. The third one, permutations that you should use, and you can solve 90% of the problems in paths in AMC, BMO, UKMT, junior, senior, intermediate, and also other part. If you want to learn 40, 50 important formulas, ideas in each topic, combinatorics, number theory, algebra, and uh, geometry, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks, take care, be safe, bye.